Jeremy, Johnson City leaders have talked about it for years, but finally the first phase to upgrades to Freedom Hall are underway. News Channel 11's Micah Smith joins us live from the community staple with details about current improvements. What do you have for us this morning, Micah? Casey Freedom Hall was built back in the 1970s and at its peak, it was packed for the majority of weekends out of the year. Now city leaders hope that a few upgrades will return this building to its former glory. After 40 years of concerts, gym classes and other events, <laughs> Freedom Hall has been showing its age for quite some time. But years of upgrade discussions have finally come to fruition. And we're going to have several projects going on for the next uh, 18, 12 to 18 months. The first one and the most important one is the HVAC project. Johnson City Commissioners approved $12 million in funding for this multi-use facility to get a facelift. They're going to replace the seats, we're going to upgrade the uh, uh, bathrooms, which are <laughs> yes, all, all circa 1970. After the big projects are done, construction crews will tackle a few more issues. And we're going to totally redo the back parking lot between us and the tennis courts. Uh, and we're also looking at possible replacement of all the permanent seats in the arena. Chamness says Freedom Hall leaders would also like to add a freight elevator. But Chamness says completing all the projects with the building still in use will be somewhat of a balancing act. And we have some unique challenges because it is a school building too with the cafeteria and the, uh, and the gymnasium. Of, uh, being used for the middle school. Johnson City Commissioner David Tomita says construction companies have agreed to work around the event schedule. Tomita says the work and investment will be well worth it. It served the city well for the last 40 years. Uh, basically uh, uh, fell into somewhat disrepair, but you know its bones are strong. Tomita says there's still a few years of work left to be done, but once completed, he's excited to see the impact it will have on the city. City leaders will meet Thursday to discuss all the projects going on right now. They hope to have the first round of upgrades completed by the end of 2016. Reporting live in Johnson City, Micah Smith, News Channel 11, in your corner. Micah, thank you very much. It's going to look good when it's all complete.